Uh, this is a split call. Five minutes. Priyanka Radhakrishnan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, it is indeed a pleasure to rise and speak in support of this bill. Um, as we've heard from speakers who um, have, have taken calls on this bill earlier today, it is a significant piece of work. Um, however, I want to start by addressing a few comments made by members opposite. Um, the first by the member Simon O'Connor, who uh, rather hesitantly expressed a little bit of surprise that um, on this side of the House we were supportive of this bill and also kind of, uh, you know, had a little bit of a jibe and implied that we had no other legislation, which is why we were supporting this one. Um, if I were to go into all the pieces of legislation that we've actually um, initiated and passed on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, I'm sure you'll shut me down and direct me back to the bill, so I won't even... Um, attempt that. However, what I will say is that we're not, this is a good bill. We've heard a lot about how this is a good bill, why it's significant to a nation like New Zealand, where we are um, uh, reliant largely on trade and the revenue that it brings as well. And on this side, we are not so churlish that we'd throw out a bill that's actually good for New Zealanders just because it was initiated by the previous government. We actually give credit where credit's due. So I'll even go so far as to thank the previous minister, the Honourable Nikki Wagner for the work that she did to bring this bill um, to the stage that it has been. It's gone through due process, uh, it's been finessed at select committee, and here we are at the third reading to sum it up um, and, and get on with it so that it actually benefits us as a nation. The other comment that I will very quickly address, of course, is the scaremongering by the member David Bennett, um, who claimed that the Labour Party is deliberately stopping migrants from coming to New Zealand when all we're doing really is stopping exploitation. Uh, point of order, the Honourable David Bennett. Um, the member has made an accusation. Would you, yes, yeah. It's a point of order. In the hall? Oh, I have to say. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. Um, so that member has made an accusation, um, and I wish her to, to um, support it with proof, sure. that the Labor Party has not directed immigration to actually uh, restrict um, the re uh, renewal of the work visas. So would you be able to provide that proof Order. for your statement in the House today? Order. Order. It's not, that's a debating point. Uh, and in reflection of the three warnings that I did give the member when he was speaking, right. um, it was like, always likely to cause uh, a response. So I'll ask the uh, member to resume her speech and come back to the bill. Kia ora. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Absolutely, when all we were doing was stopping the exploitation that the previous government did. But um, back to the bill. To the back bill. to the bill. But <laughs> So what does this bill do? Basically, it's, it is, it's a large, it's a significant um, piece of legislation that will bring the customs revenue system into line with changing trade patterns. That's part of what, what it does. It's also about you know, greater scope and flexibility uh, to address things like smuggling, to address national security concerns, uh, in increases transparency around customs obligations. When it comes to information sharing, uh, it actually promotes information sharing between customs and a number of other government agencies um, as well. Um, it streamlines sections. Now, this is actually a really... Um, uh, old Act, it, or rather, this bill will replace the Customs and Excise Act, which is over 20 years old, parts of the Act over 50 years old, over 100 years old. Um, so it streamlines sections of that Act that have been repeatedly amended, uh, that are archaic. It, it modernises the structure of the legislation as well and makes it user-friendly. Um, it balances national security with individual rights, and that was some, uh, that was a part of the bill that was finessed during the select committee process. And so at this point, I thank the committee and the members and the submitters for going through that process and making it a better bill. Um, 
so user-friendly, and I, I mentioned that. It allows businesses and customs to adapt to changing uh, technology. It brings, it brings things back into the 21st century, as it were. It improves assurances over revenue collection, makes it easier for traders to do business. And actually, this bill is in response to requests by traders um, who have asked for things to be made a little bit easier for them to get on with their uh, business, business as well. Um, so in terms of the transparency, and actually I, I might just focus in the last 40 seconds about the national security, because the information sharing that it does, it's about disclosure of information on people and goods that are crossing our borders. Um, um, for, for national security reasons, for law enforcement, for public health and for safety reasons as well. It supports economic development. It uh, promotes the implementation of government policy as well. Um, and actually, it does a whole lot of other things that unfortunately I um, am running out of um, time to, to describe or to delve into any, any, any great detail. But what I will say before I sit down is that it's a good bill, it's strong, um, and I commend it to the House. Time has ended. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. I call Samir Brown. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.